Welcome back everyone. We're just going to give everyone an opportunity to see some of the updates that have occurred over the last week and a half over at Pete Ardema shop. Pete and Kevin are currently building a new cylinder head for a B-series engine, which measures right in under 439 cubic inches or 7.2 liters of total displacement. Kevin will explain in detail the new cylinder head design, and you will hear from Pete and his progress building the new front steering gear and suspension for the Streamliner. And you're going to see the new camshaft for the 5 liter V12 that Kevin is having to remake. Basically, as I took them off the CNC, and then these are going to be the end caps. We still have to V it out for the welds. And then this tubing here will be the, I mean, it's pipe or solid now, but we're going to make the tubes basically for the head bolts. And they'll go here, here, you know. And then they'll be out here. This, like I say, we're going to so this a, one's getting notched out a little bit, like you were showing yeah, on your computer what, screen. This yeah, is you, kind of roughing in. Like I say, what we'll do is we'll take, um, we'll have Jeff actually do a port, one one of each intake and exhaust, and then we'll flow test once you know that one bank or whatever. Then, okay. And then whatever it you know, once we. Proof what we want to do, he'll go ahead and do the whole thing, but we'll do that after it's welded together. And I'll put the seats in it. And one of the things that Jeff was, I was talking to Jeff today about is he wants to start off small with the ports. Okay. Because he said if we go with a smaller valve, it helps you can you can run a more duration cam, so um, we don't we don't want to over you know go too big with the valve because then you're you know you're gonna be stuck with maybe a smaller duration so yeah it looks yeah. already it looks like those are gonna be pretty small average size exhaust well, valves this, right? that's why he didn't want me to go any bigger with either of these um, so that I actually told the company making the seats that I actually want to reduce the size so that we can work up to a larger valve yeah what I mean not necessarily but possibly go to if you had to so Maybe. then the way I still probably are gonna get turned down a little bit and, and these are the NASCAR valves and you yeah. guys yeah. buy right a box for like 25 bucks <laughs> it was well it's 20 bucks plus shipping for eight valves eight valves and so if you had to buy one done. it was 150 a valve approximately I've never we've yeah. never bought never ones. bought one <laughs> So, yeah, at this price, you, these are cheaper than tent stakes. <laughs> yeah. But they're, don't tell too many people. because Yeah, then you still need them. them. Yeah. But, yeah. Don't well, buy these for camping. Easy. They don't work well. Well, I mean, you know, you have to have the equipment to turn them down to do whatever you're doing, too. It's not like. So has this one been turned down already? Yeah. Okay. And you already I put mean, the. I mean, but it, like, see, yeah, it might get more turned down. But you, have you put the angle on that already, too? Or is that stuff to be ground? I just did it with a lathe. It's okay. Still, so you'll still I mean I've run them turned with a lathe and they make horsepower but it's better to grind them and just so everyone to see this all the valves and this and what he's gonna do he countersunk them to weld all around there I mean, this is without the peg right this one you'll be able to see both yeah right how it inserts that's That'll get drilled for the head bolt. The head bolt will go do this. And then there's a flat, there's a three quarter. The top plate, right? Top plate, all this water. The top plate goes in there and then the cam sits on top. There'll be a belt drive. Um, two sprockets here. Okay. Just Pretty like cool. A, just like a Tesla. Just like or a Tesla. Like a, like a yeah, Lexus. <laughs> like a Lexus. Uh, Tesla. A Tesla. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Lexus. Yeah. Toyota, Nissan, Mercedes. Yeah. I, I was watching a guy built his own V12 out of a Mercedes block. Yeah. Got a, over a million hits. Wow. He, he just, just took a Mercedes and souped it up. Yeah, and you do it from scratch and you don't get a million yeah. hits. What the heck? Well, we're close. Yeah, we're close. <laughs> That's right. That's pretty neat. So that's gonna have a direct link yeah, this for be... the front beam. I got it. A little Heim joint in there. 
That's awesome. But I gotta get this, I gotta get all this centered up and lined up. You've made a lot of progress on this because, uh, uh, you know, from last Friday to today, it's... Oh, well, I worked on it quite a bit. Yeah, looks good. In there. Metal work. Yeah. That's the old point. Yeah. There's the new one, so whatever that is. See that right there? Yeah. So that's the difference. That's the old one. From center to center. 15 inches. Yeah. So we lengthened it 15 inches. 15 inches on the front. Got it? That's 190 inches. 190 inches. Wheelbase. Wheelbase. Wow. And take 15 off of that. What's that, 75? 175 so, and 190, yeah. It was 175, now it's 190. 190. And does that, the longer the wheelbase, obviously, I mean, that, does that increase stability at higher speeds, or is it really when you go out and find out? Well, some streamliners <laughs> are super long. Yeah. yeah. Is there a strategy why they're that long, or is it simply because they need that much length to put all their mechanical inside? I think inside? the longer, you know, if you take a football that's pointed on it, and it goes pretty good, right? Yeah. Compared to a basketball, which is about the same time. Length, one. yeah, yeah. No comparison on how far you can throw it. Yeah, exactly. So I think the longer, the skinnier it is, the better it is. Okay. And I think packaging, you run out of room. It's a ten-foot car. You're you don't have room for an engine, and transmission, all the garbage. Yeah. You get too blunt. Yeah, I didn't want to just I didn't have a printer for my my computer because it's just a laptop, so I. This is the zero in here, and then I just go you know, play down and just cut it through. Okay, so that's the two, these guys are this. Yeah. And this is the one you're working on now, the yeah. next load. Yeah. All right. Pretty cool. So you've been working on this all day, yeah, and this is how far you've got. I drilled all of them. I just center drilled the ends of the, um, all of them. So, that's a solid cap. What does something like that weigh? Well, that's it for this week, folks. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. This way you can stay up to date and see all the latest and greatest stuff that Pete and Kevin are doing. Thanks again.